Maybe I ask you to close this door, because... Uh, thank you. <coughs> Om and Namaste. Welcome everyone to Satsang today. Very happy to see still so many people here in this region who are coming for satsang, and uh, a big welcome also to the many friends who are joining us via broadcasting from around the world. A very big welcome to you here in uh, Portugal. Thank you. Very good. Um, the subject here is only one. The investigations, the explorations, the prayers, the introspections, the journeys, 
all only one thing uh, the search for uh, the true self the true self beyond our private mythologies about self realization and uh, that which alone can be confirmed within your own heart that brings the mind to silence and peace not merely for a few moments but that reveals the everlasting peace the unbroken state of pure joy of the unalterable and imperishable truth for this reason this place is open and invites all who feel that yearning within themselves to come taste and see if this is what your heart is searching for Welcome to Satsang today, everybody. Okay. Come. <clears throat> Try again. No. <laughs> it's just such a strong feeling in my heart to say that there is no difference felt here, your grace, your presence is the same wherever this body goes, wherever in the world. It's so strong, it's always here, never moves, <laughs> it's always here. But at the same time, it just felt so strong that we are so privileged, so blessed, and it's such a divine gift to be in your physical presence. <laughs> It's just no words to describe it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It has happened actually because people sometimes they write, you know, and they've said, you know, thank you so much for the satsangs that we can enjoy online. You know? And I'm also very, very happy. YouTube has become one of my best friends, and uh, <laughs> Skype, because in the beginning, you know, it was I don't like traveling much for some reason. It's been like that, and uh, each time I was invited to go to some place, then the connection in the heart felt so beautiful. Then I knew, oh, I have to at least come back again. So it means oh, I have to travel again, and so <laughs> it was my attitude, you know. So I thought, oh my gosh, and more invitations are coming, so it means all oh, more places to travel. Oh, when is this going to end? Oh. I see myself always, oh, I said, no, 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 I don't want. And then someone said, uh, you know, Guruji, have, have you heard of this thing called YouTube? I said, YouTube, what, another kind of, you know, technology? I, uh, I'm a bit of a caveman, so. But then uh, we tried, and then it became something beautiful. But this can happen. I mean, people, it works through internet. This is amazing. People are responding like that. You know, thank you for saving my life and uh, this thing and so. So I said, oh, let's try. And then came Skype. I said, look at that. I can sit in my bedroom. I can speak to the world in my bedroom. Huh? Sometimes I only have my pyjama buttons. And a smart shirt. I shouldn't really say this. Huh? <laughs> and it's beautiful. So uh, then the letters are coming, and this is so beautiful, it's so beautiful, because I'm not able to come at the moment, and we can enjoy on, uh, on the screen. Can I please come and just to say thank you and look into your eyes? And, okay, you come. And then they come. They arrive at Mantisaja and they are hiding from me. <laughs> I said, oh, wait, what, what happened? Where is this person come? Oh, I saw her up the temple. Then I am going, I said, oh, maybe I am on the way, I will see. And I am going, then they slip around the other bit on the ground. I said, what, what happened? They're gone. What is happening? Then it found out that there is some unexpected fear came for some people. and. Uh, I said, what, what do you think is going to happen? I'm not going to eat you. And then I thought to myself, I might eat you. <laughs> a 
<laughs> because sometimes I feel like eating somebody, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but you say it's really good to come and to be physically present. That there is something in that to be also physically present. But it's not because you're only physically present. By being here, there's another thing I cannot talk about. Yeah. But when you're here, you you are in its domain. In another way. I don't talk about this because I don't want to put the people off from YouTube and say, ah, we're not getting the real stuff. No, it is <laughs> it is really good. It is good. Emails. Well now I don't want so much emails. It's, it's too much, I can't cope with it. And uh, yeah. But you're not afraid, are you? Eat me up completely. Eat you up completely. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. <laughs> it has some relationship, you know, but I won't go into that. You know. <laughs> what it would it be to eat you up completely? Hmm? Let's let's look at it. What it means, eat me up completely. Maybe you tell me more than so I don't misunderstand what it means. Uh, it means that there is only you, and <laughs> it's not a trace of me, not a trace of uh, past, not a trace of future. Yeah. It's only you, and yeah. you is um, you is you. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. Mean, really, I am you, actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a trace of desire or ambition or intention or expectation. But they may come. They can come. Yeah. You must not be so afraid. They may come, but they will not have any power. <laughs> or another way of saying they may come, and if they don't have any power, you will not even notice that they come. <laughs> Isn't it? If they come and they don't have any power, they won't register in consciousness that they have they have any significance worthy of being remembered or taken note of so effectively it is as though they didn't come <laughs> okay Thank you, Guruji. Down a bit more with the microphone, yeah, yeah. Since um, being introduced to you, everything has changed so much. And since meeting you in person in January, there's just this causeless joy. Ah. And at the same, no, not at the same time, but it's like the person is enjoying the fruits of it. The person is enjoying yes. the fruits of it. Okay. It's like the person is saying, Oh my God, you didn't take that personal, isn't that great? Oh, feel all this joy. And oh, that person. And that person. <laughs> Do you understand what is going on? <laughs> Mind is saying like this. The person, the, the, the identity, the aspect of mind, they are together, one thing. And commenting, um, commenting, yes, about commenting about how well it. we are doing. And yes. <laughs> and when I, when I inquire deeper, who's perceiving the joy, I mean, the joy just gets bigger, but there is also still the common, oh, look, it's getting bigger. 
how and when does you, it feel, how does it feel that 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 voice that person there how does it feel i mean it it, it it's okay it's but okay. partly i wonder if you know it seems like I'm missing Which one is, is more true of you? The commentator one who is saying, Look, whoa, there's more joy, <laughs> more joy to enjoy, you know? Or that which is merely aware of it. Let's take a second and look at it. Hmm? Which is more true of you? The one that's going, Wow, but whew, there's more joy. Oh, it's so great, it's so good. Look what is happening. Is it you or is it speaking to you? It's it's Who is it saying? Who is it saying? Look, we have more joy today. Hmm? Is it speaking to itself or is it speaking to you? Are you one? It seems like a, a mix. It's, it's a not mix. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's, is it excited about more joy? Yes, <laughs> it yes. is. Yes. <laughs> so everything is okay then, maybe. Huh? <laughs> Why you come to the microphone then? <laughs> there are qualities you're speaking about, like mm. the emptiness, the silence, the. Um, You know, like the being just before saying, you know, about the oneness. Mm -hmm. um, it's not in the experience, and partly I'm wondering, like, doing, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> am I, you know, am I? Is all there this, a missing? You see, of? All of this is perceivable. This is what I'm guiding. You see, yeah. that the joy arises in the heart, and the joy is true. It's a true joy. Joy yes. is there, but something keeps commenting about. Look, mm -hmm. oh, look, it's more joy today. Mm -hmm. We're even more spiritual. I'm doing very well. Wonderful. Oh yes, yes, very good. And uh, so, so there's a little um, suspiciousness about it. Is that really? Yes. Is that really where I'm at? You mm. see. Hmm? Yes. Because now someone else has come and, and spoken more from from a place of this this serenity, this peace, this unity, this sameness, this oneness. But then this commentator who is saying there's more happiness, more joy, hmm, is not on the same standard or the caliber of that which is just the the peace and the joy and the openness, mm. the wisdom that is arising, which I also call perfume. This is the perfume also, mm? because they are also perceived. This is also yes. perceived, yes. not to be rejected. No, mm -hmm. just the very fact that it is perceived indicates that it is another phenomenon. That's not a judgment. It simply is another. It's a phenomenon. It may come and it may go. Yes. So don't cling even to this. Mm -hmm. mm? Because phenomenon means it is not stable. Maybe it will come. Some peace will come. Oh, it's peace. oh, it's so but maybe go also. That's right. And if it goes, and then you are too attached to it. You may feel, ah, I lost it. I lost the self. Mm -hmm. The self has gone again, because it was here before. It was so peaceful, so beautiful, and now it's gone. And I said, No, don't stop there. Mm -hmm. The peace has come. The joy has come. These are this is the perfume. But sometimes, even the most fragrant flower, sometimes you smell nothing, also, isn't it? Then you go. <laughs> it's like nothing. Another time you're simply walking past and whoa, oh, they're so strong or something. Hmm? So don't go even for the perfume. Enjoy. Let them be there, but don't say I am that. That is the self. Don't try to wrap it up into any yeah. conclusion. They will all be premature. So even this, you have added to that. The joy is here. It's on the increase. But the commentator, some person, the person, 
it we were saying, look, we are doing very well, and there's more joy. That is also perceived, see? Mm. It is also a sensation arising inside the field of consciousness, and it comes and goes also. And then, you know, some feeling of silence come and that also go. Feeling of calm and also go. So don't follow. Stay put. Stay put means what? Even the one who is saying, uh, you know, this is beautiful now. There's just peace now. I say yes. This peace will go also. Hmm? Who are you in this? The witness of peace. The witness that peace came and went. Joy come go. Sadness come go. Feeling of love comes. Go so goes. All these are unstable. They fluctuate. They come and go like clouds. And come and go. The most beautiful cloud you've ever seen in the world. You photograph. Come and go. Everything is coming and going. Everything you've known in your life has come and gone. Has there been anything that has come and stayed? Even yourself. The way that you think of yourself keeps changing also. Hmm? Self image, hmm? ideations, also they are coming and going. What watches the coming and going? Is that also coming and going? So I say, be there at the watching place. Notice all that come and go. They all come and go. Hmm? As soon as you notice that generally the play of the life is that all appearances, all thoughts, all feelings, all actions, all activities, all forms, they come and go. Once you have understood fundamentally that by nature they are temporary, hmm? then now turn the attention away from looking at the objects of the senses and turn it towards that which is observing them. Can the observer be observed also, like the things that it is observing? Can this observer be observed also? And this question you must try to solve now. Hmm? And don't merely expect a mental reply. Because the mind will answer, yes, I can see it, or whatever. But even if an answer comes in this way, the answer also is observed. Who observes? Can it be found, the one who observes? Especially the one who observes without self-interest, without fascination, without curiosity. That in front of whom all perception is watched. Who is here? Hmm? Not to the left or to the right, hmm? not in front or behind, not outside or inside. Where is it? That which can observe all of these things. Can it be found? And can you yourself be different from it? Who are you? So these are now questions, you see? Not homework. I don't want to give homework. Because the answer is here. The answer is now. So why to find it later? Now you can find. We only have to find the right question. The answer is here. Hmm? I have given you the answer, now find the question. I have indicated the answer. What is the question? You see? Who are you? Are you an object in front of the lens of perception? Or are you behind? Or both? Or beyond? 
how much time you need. Are you shell shocked? Sometimes people are waiting to see who is going to give the answer. What about you? Hmm? Where is all this leading to? Who is on board with this kind of question? Not bored with this kind of question. <laughs> I said, who is on board with this type of question? Hmm? For whom it is alive. The only living question now for you. Why you put your hand down so quick? Does it include you too? Yes, yes. Hmm? I have found this is perhaps the most auspicious question hmm, askable in the human kingdom. An answer you cannot give, you can only be. I am already giving away too much. Hmm? Am I on my own here? Or have you abandoned me again? Hmm? You started all this. I did. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. But you have to end it also. You see, a question is raised in you that is going to disturb you until you find the answer to it. And that was the purpose of the question also. Feels very much behind the lens. You feel very much behind the lens. Mm. Yes. So it means if you are behind the lens of perception, all that appears in front of the lens you perceive, no? Including the lens. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You follow or not? Yes, all that is in front of the camera, you perceive, including the camera. Hmm? What is camera? Hmm? The eyes, the ears. Hmm. The instrument of perception itself. Hmm? Can the instrument of perception perceive the perceiver? Who is looking through this lens and looking at the lens? Hmm? Can you describe her? Can you describe it or not? Hmm? No. Why? What is the point of the question? If the answer you cannot give. What kind of question is this? All your questions must die right here. Are you the one? Are you the question killer? Are 
and not merely mentally, not because you have won mentally, not because you have an intellectual conviction even, that will not do, that also is only phenomenal. This must quench your thirst. It's just this watching. What is watching the watching? Hmm? What knows the watching even? The question is more an invitation. No? It's not merely a puzzle. It's an invitation to look. At what you cannot see phenomenally. What kind of seeing is that when nothing phenomenal will satisfy this seeing? No answer that can be given will be satisfying. It will only be another phenomenon. Is it an uncomfortable moment? No. Because it seems the whole world is running away from this opportunity of seeing. Something feels very itchy, very unstable, very uncomfortable. But that is also seen. Is the seer seeing himself? in the objects of perception. These questions are the kind of contemplations, they are not many, hmm? the key to your own Self. If you concentrate only on one aspect of the question that I have put before you, no? then it will begin to develop, it will mature, it will show what, what, what position to look now, it will take over, the question will take over, and it will solve itself. Hmm? It's very easy, very common to abandon the question. And you start to be looking out the window to see what's going on over there. What kind of trees do Muji plant on this land? It's very easy, very tempting, you see. Start looking at what time when we have dinner and all. Mind. Hmm? Did you miss your chance? Who is it? Who to come? You, you say so. You want to come? Oh. Now maybe we can open a little bit the this door now a little bit. It was just too much wind coming there. Hmm. Namaste. Namaste. I found one morning when I was waking up mm. that I can see the consciousness. Yes. And in 
and consciousness is like the like a tool of perception. And so far I thought I was this one that I know all the things and I know that I am. But I always wondered because you always said that yeah, we enjoy sleep and in the deep sleep you also exist and I believe you in this. But I wasn't sure if I exist because I I don't know that I am in the deep sleep, right? And there is a difference, like one morning, I always exercise this from the consciousness point of view. I thought that I am consciousness and I watch in the morning how the mind arises, like all the memories and the context of the life, but I am the one who can perceive first. And then one morning, I spotted the moment before, when I watched the sense that I am, that, that arose. So I was there to see that I know that I am. So yes. I was already before and then <laughs> And you were before as what? As I am, but it's like I don't need to <laughs> know that I am. Mm. Like, I know and I am is one thing. And since that one morning it has stayed like this? Yes, since that one morning it's, it's not even a big thing, but some like everything is experience mm. in silence. And I did experience like as a person before the silence, but it was just experience. Mm. Whereas now, even the noise is experience in the silence. Like sometimes I used to think that I have to exercise, not not to not to ignore the mind, ignore the mind. It was not <laughs> to no? ignore. I I used to train this like to be silent and uh, ignore the mind. Mm. But something is even when. I hear the noise. I don't have to give attention. Yeah. But even if I give attention, mm. it's still I am <coughs> the silence. Mm. I even if you give attention, it makes no difference to it, you. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> like the, there is some little noise in vast silence. Mm. So the attention is there. <coughs> to see like this. <laughs> and, and also since then I want to tell you like since these things are happening I, so many times I, I feel so much love for you <laughs> like never before but it's not even yeah. this kind of <laughs> it is perfectly true. This itself is love, <coughs> not love <coughs> merely from subject to object or something like that, but uh, the the unity of being. The perfume of the real, you can say. And it is not, this is what I was checking, you see. It is not, we says, one morning. Is that one morning still now? This is the important thing. Not one morning last Wednesday, eight o'clock, 
seven o'clock, not that type of morning. That one morning was the instant of seeing, and that one morning is now also. That alone is what will qualify it as the true. If it one of the if it is one of the mind's morning, it will be gone. But it was not a morning like that. It was that morning, that instant, is timeless. It belongs to no days of the week. You see. Therefore, it cannot pass. Other things pass, but it cannot pass. Because it's not a moment of time. <laughs> Who? Next time you come. Hello, Muji. Uh, I wanted to come here to the microphone because I'm going to spend some days here and I want to use this time uh, as wisely as possible. So I thought it would be a good idea to... Start from now? Yes, uh, mm-hmm. and to check in with you. I don't, I don't really have a question, mm-hmm. um, but maybe to share with you what's been, what I feel right now mm-hmm. for me to, stru- so to start in the best possible okay. way. Okay. So... Um, uh, I don't know if I know how to inquire anymore. Um, the inquire became just um, like meditation, basically. And every time I try to inquire, inquire, like uh, to do any question, the feeling I get is that uh, that question is actually interrupting, um, not interrupting, but making noise. Um, so I don't know if I'm just developing some kind of uh, inner strategy to run away from. Okay, so if you just can help on that, because I think the inquiry is the best. Uh, Not you are creating this. It it happens, you know, and don't buy it so quickly because you begin to look, and then it has been said before, it has been heard before. People say, you know, I mean, even to ask the question is assuming that I'm something else and. Very clever. Mind uh, in this way can be very clever to try and imitate. So why, why disturb? You're already here. Why do you have to ask this question? Some people have said, even teachers I heard, they speak like that. But they're not speaking the truth like that. If the question, you know, see, the question is fresh every moment, you see. And wherever there arises within the seed of personhood, this question is the one question that will expose it and also destroy the itch of that question. Otherwise, we preserve some sense of a self that is already peaceful. Why disturb this peaceful self? Well, if it is a peaceful self, and if it is a truly peaceful self, it cannot be disturbed. I am disturbable. Still. You are? It's still uh, I, I get disturbed with Something a lot of gets stuff. Something so, yes. yeah, yeah. Not with the question, but I'm saying that in my life I feel that I still get disturbed with a lot of stuff. So for sure, yes, something. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, yes. Now this disturbable one must be observed also. You have to admit that it is observable. Yes. You know, sometimes uh, I feel very peaceful, very stable, very happy, and then tat 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 and. Uh, but if that happens, also that sensation is also experienced, it's also perceived. No? Yeah? Let it happen, let it happen. You know? It's not to shut it down, but say, let it happen. It can happen. Simply, you don't identify with that. Then maybe these words, don't identify, start to become very irritating because identity feels very strong. Actually, I don't feel irritated with it at all. Um, mm-hmm. It's kind of 
I, 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 I feel that like, for instance, uh, thoughts. We, I feel that I really have the option to go with them or not because I see the, thought, the thoughts and the, mm -hmm. I, I, feel, I, I do feel that it's, it's an option to go with the thought or mm -hmm. not. But uh, feelings, for instance, I feel that it's different because uh, it's, of course, they are, they are perceived, yes, but they are also felt. So mm -hmm. at the same time, they are being felt. So mm -hmm. it's not something... When I notice them, they are already um, affecting... Af exactly. So mm -hmm. I don't know how to... Uh, but there's nothing wrong with it, is it? If the, you say sensations are happening in the body, um, what is important is not that sensations are arising in the body, but how much identity is formed around them will determine and shape the kind of strength that there will be in them. If some sensation is in the body, so the body is like moving like this, but you could be in total serenity, you could be in total serenity and unconcerned about that, to the extent that maybe you don't even want to talk about it. If somebody asks you, why are you twitching like this? What's happening? Is it twitching? Oh, don't worry about this. It. Just some. It's just. It's okay. It's nothing personal. Okay, just forget about it, because you're not disturbed by it. You see, you are determining that. It's it's okay. It's just a movement. Why should it be happening? Well, someone else may ask, or yourself may ask, why is this happening? The minute you are getting why why is this happening, then you have stopped there with this with this movement, and you are that's where you are putting your attention for the moment. And there's a time when that is perfectly fine, you can put your attention there, you do what is necessary and so on. I am moving on from that. Uh, whatever sensation or thoughts coming, if you know the place that I'm pointing you to, you will not be bothered about them. Any thought can come, even the most disgusting thought can come, and it doesn't disgust you. One thing about someone who is really free hmm, is the most. You, they are not insultable. Okay, if you say, "Listen, man, you smell like," uh, they may say, "Oh, I didn't notice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I go have a shower. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you." Good. No hard feelings. Thank you. Thank you. They are not insultable like that because there is nothing taken so personally. But sometimes we say, No, nobody can insult me. I'm above such things. What are you saying? I'm the self, you know? And somebody once told you, look, you know, he's lying again. Are you calling me a liar? Are you calling me a boom? <laughs> Sometimes we lie and we don't know that we are lying. In the retreat, this the first time true. I spoke with you, I didn't know I was lying. I yes, thought yes. I was speaking the real yeah. thing, and then I, I saw, oh my God, I was lying, and I admitted it. But sometimes we are lying and we don't know. This is true. This is the one of the purpose of satsang to expose things which are not in service to your truth. So when you see them, you think, oh, actually, no, I don't need to follow this, leave that. And so you are on the road to retaining your purity, or at least to recognizing it. Because the more junk you have around yourself, you know, then you are not being seen. So somehow in satsang, this psychological clutter is... Uh, driven away, and just the pure space of being is there. Perfectly fine. I would like you to give me some specific advice, I mean, uh, f from what I told you. And I know that the advice is for the, generally the same for everyone, or not different. From You're coming here for a few days, no? For uh, two weeks. Okay. I'll give you the advice when I see you. As I see you moving, we are living okay. in the same space. I didn't know if I had the chance to speak with you during that uh, two week. The two it weeks. That's why I wanted to come. It will come. come uh, it will come. come. It, it will now. come. It will come. Not because we plan it, but because it's necessary. And it if you are not hiding, if you don't want to hide, no, then it will come. 
it will come that I'll see you. Ah, how are you doing today? What's happening? And then it'll be just the right moment for you to tell me, Moji, <laughs> or Moji, whatever it is. Okay. Yes, yes, I feel good about it. Because I don't want you to come here for one week, one day, two weeks, and you waste your time. I really don't want to waste the time. That's I don't think you will. I want yeah. to, um, to uh, not do, but to be p- as present as I can, you know, and really p- take all this uh, stuff it's out. It's much easier than that. <laughs> it's much easier than that. <laughs> the recognition, the discovery of the truth is much, much easier than that. I think there's there's a part that it's easy, but then because of the 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 um, the unreal things they've been going around for such a long time, they don't just like I say. I don't. I feel that they, uh, even though you see it's not real, it's not real, it's not real, it's not real. But still, they are there. So uh, mm. in the end, uh, of course, it, they. You they don't know what makes it. things there. Things are not there because they're there. Things are there because you see them. Yes. And do you know why you see them and not other things? That is the important thing. Why do you see those particular things and not other things? Other people see other things, you see these things. They are all there together, but you will see these things and they will see those things. What determined that you will see these things and they will see those things? Same room, same number of things. Conditioning also, identity, will shape what you see and how you see also. And whether you can um, address what you see with love or with judgment or with fear or with gratitude, all these things are stemming from you. Your maturity, your evolution in and as consciousness, your realization of who you are, all that will shape the life that you think you have or see that you experience. The best way is to be totally empty. Totally empty That's the goal. <laughs> of intention, you know? Totally empty of intention. Very few people trust that. Obviously, you cannot do it while being a person. No person is empty. They are full, full, full. How to be empty? Personally, you cannot do it. The person always has some hang up, some thing, you have to do this and do that, and have to do that, then I'll be empty. What about now? Uh, what, uh, one of the things that uh, I'm going to say pisses me off a little bit is that I know that I cannot do anything to really accelerate the process or because it's not in my hands so There's but no that process. pisses me off because all my life I could do something about something and this I cannot the person see process hmm? process food person see process the self is not a process and I know that, and I don't know. I know that, and but still, I feel it's a process. Yeah. I yeah. I'm not going. I'm, going, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm going to. No, 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 no. Um, so. Do you know when both. you're lying all the time or not? You no. just admit it. Exactly. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> no but now I'm, I'm, I'm speaking what I feel now. Yes. Maybe in five minutes it will change. It. <laughs> it's true. How can I trust you? You cannot. I, I don't trust <laughs> myself. <laughs> then this is what I say. That's why I'm here. Otherwise, Keep quiet. I'm, Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shri <coughs> Maji. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't want to miss my chance. When I'm in front of you, I feel like I'm in front of my father. And I thank you for that. 
and for this opportunity. I've spent um, a long time thinking and doing what I think is right. And now I feel like it's the mind <clears throat> hiding as close as it can to the self. And I believe that through inquiry that can continue to be exposed. I just don't know how to go about making decisions uh, now. Uh, I feel like I shut down like every time I see you even. I've been close enough to, to reach out and hold you. And I've been so afraid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I know who that I is. And I understand in my mind, I could sit here in my mind and go through everything. Uh -huh. <clears throat> even now, I feel like I'm not speaking from my body Come or on. from who I am. Come on, give me a hug. I have to be, I have to be careful when I ask for hugs like that. He's so strong, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very nice. <laughs> Don't go away. through it now you see when you come to speak about it when you come to speak about that you can see you say i can see that my mind is uh, something fill me in again tell me a bit now mm. you i've heard you speak about um the mind being dressed up as a policeman mm. i feel like i dressed my mind up as a king mm. and that my person is serving my mind and it's so good let me, because let me catch up with that so you <clears throat> Say again, you might, you're I feel like I'm serving my mind, and my mind is masking as good, and it knows all the rules and all the things. I see. Yeah. But I can never ever be as good as my mind wants me to be, because it can change to something else. Mm -hmm. So I just don't know how to make decisions and act as if I'm going to hurt someone else. Or mm -hmm. and you are made out of what you are made out of what for there to be mind, because you know sometimes I've also said. You must discern the difference between yourself and your mind. No, so mind we kind of understand as the kind of thought processes that go up, and and it's you know it's some, we give a lot of value sometimes to mind. We say, you know, I don't want to throw it out because it's a lot of valuable stuff in there. I want to keep it or whatever. The mind, no, is your reservoir of the sense of who you are and your 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 projections about life and the future and whatever. But you are who you. You are what to the mind that you should say that you feel like you are serving the mind or something. You would be what who is serving the mind. It wouldn't be me. Mm. It would be something else serving the mind. Right. And where are you in all of this? Where exactly is your beyond position? it? Yeah. As what? I don't know how to answer that question other than with my life. And I don't even know what that means. You must be there witnessing it, because you are telling the story of it and putting the locations of things. You must be where? You know? You are talking about the mind. It is not the mind sitting here talking about you. You are talking about mind. And you are talking about yourself as a self-portrait, having a relationship with the mind. And I am asking, you are what? You said you are beyond it. You are not the one 
caught up with the mind. Are you sure about this? In your heart? I'm not the one caught up in the mind. Sometimes there's a behavior like it's all happening here and it's me. Hmm? But however thick that covering is, it cannot black out the awareness that perceives it. It must be appearing in awareness uh, for you to report that that experience is happening. Even to say, right now, I can't, sorry, I can't, I can't hear, I can't do anything because the, my mind is always oh, too much. On a, even if it's such a reaction, and I've heard people speak like this. You know, whoa, 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 no, I can't, whoa, whoa, my mind, oh, no, no, my, I'm so caught, I'm so gone with them. So, but who is reporting about it? Who is noticing this? Who is experiencing? There must be some gap. Because if you were the one who is suffering, your words would not be so clear. You would be, no. You say, no, my mind is coming, no, my mind, oh, it's, 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 oh, it's strangling me. I say, who is speaking so clearly? Still, there is a seeing place. There is a seeing of that. But the seer in that position who is reporting is still connected emotionally and psychologically to what it is perceiving. Would you see this when I, when I speak like that? If it is connected emotionally, and psychologically, to what it is imagining is going on, that seer must also be phenomenal. Do you understand when I use the word phenomenal, what I mean by that? I mean that it is also not real, it is only an appearance itself. Who is the seer reporting to? Who is the seer? This seer. Who is the seer reporting to? Yes. This is all going on. You're, what, would you say it when you're by yourself? If you're only the one, you're on an island by yourself, and this is going on. Who are you talking to? Who are you reporting to? Would you say like that? Would you be saying, "No, oh, oh, my mind is going. Oh, no, it's too much." Or who would you be talking to? It must be somebody next to you or something. If you're by yourself, what would you do? The one next to you only enables you to see even more that you are watching it and you are not it. By the fact that you are conversing there, shows you that you know, yeah, it's too much, man. It shows you that you are observing something. If you are on your own in those moments, maybe there's there's seemingly no gap that you are what is happening. And some people will even tell you you are what is happening. But I say, no, 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 it's true, but not yet. Way, way, much, much higher, you can say that. Right now, you should not admit such a thing, or else you're gone. I have to show you that you still have space here. There's still space here. You're not the one trapped in the bubble of that scenario. I wonder if you hear. You have to hear this, you see? You have to hear it here, in your belly of your being, you have to hear it. If you hear it only in the attic, you are going to forget it. You go for a pee, you forget everything. You don't remember anything. You are not retaining. You don't have the power to retain. Because another force, much deeply habituated force, will just snap its finger and your attention will be gone. You will forget what you are seeing, what you have seen. The pure awareness you are not accustomed to referring to as yourself, not yet. And yet it is the only thing in you that is stable, and pure, untouched, hmm? imperishable, whole, constant, beyond even the concept of constancy. It is there. But no one value. Because you think of yourself as something, and everything you want has a somethingness about it, except nothing. And nothing is the only thing you have and are. You are not attracted to emptiness or nothingness, because you cannot let go of your somethingness. 
And if you are somethingness, you always want something. When you can look, not just believe, okay, I am nothing. No, that won't do. But when you can look and see that all somethingness is perceived, and that which that in which the somethingness is perceived, I ask you, what is that like? What kind of something is that? And you can answer, it is beyond somethingness. It has no quality. All qualities are a kind of limitation, and this is not. When you can answer like that, and there is no gap between you and that, hmm? then all these things that trouble you, they vanish like that, in the instant. Hmm? Not even that they vanish. By vanishing, I mean that they lose their power instantly. Why? Because they got their power from you, the one who believed it is personal. It has been sucking your blood. You have to let everything go for a moment. Leave everything for a moment. My invitation is constant. Leave everything for a moment. Don't tell me anything that's coming from past. Hmm? That's all we are doing, talking from past, past, past. But it's past. That's why it's called past. It's gone. Okay? And you keep waking up these dead corpses to show everybody this is what happened to me. No, forget about it. No, so nothing from past and future <laughs> nobody has ever experienced the future. Have you ever experienced the future? <laughs> Today is yesterday's tomorrow. But you don't know it as tomorrow. You don't know anything about today except what you are experiencing in this moment. All your projections are powerless, unless you shape them out of your own imagination, and you want to live in a world of imaginings, then there is something else. Enough of doing this. Don't touch past. Don't touch anything about future, or to try and summarize anything about the present. You cannot, as a matter of fact. The present is so. You cannot have a history of this present moment. It's always fresh. Of history, you must go to past. Even to have a future, you must go to past. Don't touch time for a moment. Any idea you have about yourself for a moment, leave it, leave it, because it's only getting in the way. Leave every idea about yourself. Whatever you can think about, well, this is what I've done, and this means nothing here for now. Leave everything. Okay, leave everything. Whatever you can see or call up, just leave it. Don't combine yourself with anything at all. Even your feeling of I, if it has any content that's based on time, don't touch it for a minute. When we are done with this exercise, you can have all your stuff back if you want. Be absolutely empty, beyond even the concept of emptiness. Because only when you are like this, will you find the thing you cannot take out. Whatever can go, whatever can pass, leave it, don't touch. Whatever can come, that can also go, don't touch this. Any notion you have about yourself, don't hold on to it for a few moments. I want to look at something with you for the first time, maybe freshly. Hmm? You without you. Leave everything for a moment. And don't pick up anything new. So whatever belongs to time that can come and go, I don't want to hear about it. Leave it. Now when you are stripped of all of these things, something is here that nobody can take out. 
nativen Gott. What is it? Feel it. Don't think about it only. What is really here that does not belong to time? Now I can ask you this question. If you have been following my guidance, now I can ask you this question, because now you are in the heart of it. It cannot be removed. It cannot go, because it never came. It is not a traveller. What age is it? What shape is it? What religion? What gender? From what loka? Leave the person, the person is only a dream. I am looking for someone who can hear me. Who can hear this inside the heart? What have you found? What will you exchange this for? Come, talk. What will you exchange this for? It can't be exchanged. Can it be lost? It's never been anywhere, it's always been here, so it cannot be lost. And you, what about you? <clears throat> I am that which cannot be lost. Is that for today or for tomorrow also? There's no today or tomorrow, it's just always and timeless. Listen to him, sweetie. <laughs> no, you, I would like to put a microchip on you, a God chip. <clears throat> And listen to you every moment, in the night and the day. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on you. What is he saying again? And to see if this is true, if it's true on Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, morning, lunchtime, evening, four o'clock in the morning next week, next month, next year, forever. Can you find a forever thing? Can anybody find a forever thing? You did. How oh, you know that? I just know. then that will be the, the most precious thing in the world. But how can it be precious? For whom? Hmm? You have found the one thing, you have drunk the one wine, from which you can never be thirsty again. As every other thirst wants another thirst, another drink. Can you find that? Can you find that hmm, that puts an end to your hunger, to your need? For such an experiment, we are here today. Who wants to participate in that one? Yeah. Hmm? I 
I'm surprised that not everybody put their hand up actually. Some people. Because at least if you don't get it, at least that much you should have an intuition about. Did he say timeless? I mean like, did he say pure? Did he say forever? And it's good? I mean, And some place within you, you must have that intuition. Yes, somewhere inside me is a seed that intuitively know this is. It's not the birthright of kings and priests. Every sentient being, certainly every human being. There is a seed in inside. We say hidden, but I don't think it is hiding. Eh? An intuition that in the right season, in the right warmth, in the right watering, is going to germinate into perfect understanding. When? Has your season come and gone? Or is it right time? Or is it next time? Are you a musician? You at the end here on the same row? Yes. Huh? Did you send me some music? The one, no, the one here behind uh, Nirmal, behind uh, uh, my, next to you, him in front. Yes, yes. <laughs> Are you a musician? No. Oh, you look um, from here. You look. You look like someone. I saw a picture of. Send one beautiful music for Papaji. Mm. Who has a burning one for me today? Who will come? Go to the microphone if it's you. Mm. Okay. Gracias, Moshi. Thank you, Moshi. Um, first of all, I want to apologize for the clothes I'm wearing. Maybe it's not very for the satsang. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I have uh, been all this time doing quarry, even before coming here. Yes. And uh, I. Th uh, I I'm very confused about how things have been developed here. How what? How things have been, uh, I don't know what to call me anymore. I see sometimes I'm a lot of uh, feeling that I'm not being real or true or lying, as she says, or without it, uncomfortable in my own body. All or, is good. All is good, yeah. Or at approaching you is very. Uh, something is very weird or afraid of you. But what I want to do and why I'm in the mic is maybe to do self-inquiry with you mm -hmm. and uh, tell you how is it for me and maybe we can go and finally answer that question. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> 
So the, 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 other day, the, the other day you were speaking, I relate very much uh, with the searcher, right? <coughs> yes. To, with the one that uh, every time there is a, an uncomfortable, f I'm going with a feeling, I'm going with a thought, and something stops and, and uh, a phrase of you come back or, or I, I, something, tr I, I try to pull back to, to aware aware awareness or to a place where I'm not involved with what I'm uh, perceiving, right? So I feel there is some, um, I, I have been all, all these days relating very much to this uh, searcher as a door, you know? Uh, no, as a door. Door, door. <laughs> searcher at the door. <laughs> yes, because it, bring, it, 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 it helps to bring, I thought it was that because it helps to bring me back to awareness or to a place I don't relate to much of what I'm perceiving. To uh, um, to this, uh, it's also a sensation, that I, and I'm I, I'm also confused because uh, when I I pull back, and I'm in this space. Wait a second. What? What do you really want in your heart, if I say? I want freedom, Moji. You want freedom, which means what? In my book, you look freedom <laughs> empty, <laughs> awakening <laughs> empty, <laughs> self nothing, okay. life <sighs> nothing. It's good. I'm feeling that mine is not that Sadhana. innocent. Nothing. All of this noise. Hmm? We have to do this, and when I have to do this, and when I come there, so I try to bring my mind back to here, and then it's going like that, and then I try to sit down, and then there's so much things are happening, and then I try to concentrate, but I can't concentrate. I always trying to concentrate anyway, <laughs> and uh, just uh, you know, like I just want to let it go. I want to let it go. Who wants to let it go? I don't know. Who wants to let it go? Oh, I'm so confused. I can't find myself. <laughs> It's for everybody like this. Uh, we are, for a while, we will experience these states. We will experience. Yeah? But there's nowhere to stop. It's a stopover, but it's not your home. We will experience all these things. But this agitation and all of these things, you know, who gave them to you? Hmm? I am not requiring anything of you. Pay attention. I don't want anything from you. And you are afraid of me. At best for you, I am a kind of mirror. Are you afraid to look in the mirror? The mirror wants nothing from you. It doesn't tell lies. It doesn't give you an opinion. It never says, I can't reflect you right now, I'm just too busy. <laughs> I don't reflect South Americans. I only reflect Americans. 
It doesn't have any opinion, it has no choice, nothing. I'm only like this for you. I know, but you get blurry many times when I'm sitting. Yes. Or when I see you. Yes. It's not that I cannot hear you. It's <laughs> yes. The blurriness is that which is inside you, which is trying to make your spirit blurry. It's not I am blurry. Something is inside that is uh, blurry, because for the first time, you are coming back to see. And you have to wipe your eyes. That's all that happened. And you have come here, and I know very much that you are here. I know that you are here. And I know in my heart, that if there is inside your heart the hunger for freedom, then you are already in the freedom pot. And you are bloop, 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 bloop away. And I am so true about it, because everything in my kitchen is cooking on timing. Everything is on time, by itself. So if I pass by, and I didn't stop to look at the beans, because I know they are okay, just put them in. Huh? And if you go towards the huh, the omelettes, and keep an eye from home, it's like that, and I'm serious about it. So don't pay attention from your eyes, because you don't know what is really happening in that way. And if you come, sometimes it might seem a bit blurry, like you say, oh, blur. because something is coming up, even if you cannot find a, a strong place for yourself at the moment. This is also an improvement. Sometimes you feel, I really know myself, and I came here and I'm really lost. But this loss is more found than before, when you think you know. Everything is only a passing through and a passing out. It is okay, everything is fine. Because this place, it's going to challenge your concepts and whatever it is that is creating a kind of claustrophobia inside your being, is going to spit it out. And it doesn't feel nice. Nobody feels nice because you're going to vomit. Nobody feels nice. But it is like that. And it is the grace of your own heart is working now. It's moving and pushing, shoveling out some stuff, shoveling out. Hmm? I might be leaving tomorrow for the festival. I, I still don't know. I'm struggling with the tickets, but I'll be barking in two weeks. And the other thing is, uh, I want. I, I read a, a teach me how to surrender. I I don't mind if it is a, hmm. something. Still stand up. I want to melt. I I read in Papa's book like you have to be like a kitten with your master. And I I still feel like uh, it's still there is something. Uh, I I love you very much and I talk to you all the time and I ask you all the time for this wish all the time all the time all the time. <laughs> but. Um, I'm not a kitten yet. <laughs> I don't want to be a kitten. <laughs> you don't want to be a kitten? Yes. You want to or no? Si, si. What? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it is very strange for my personality to say something like that. It is good, you know, <laughs> because... <laughs> you know, it's funny because there are some relationships in that we have uh, about surrender and about this kind of play that happens with the, with the, the with god and it say you know like sometimes it says that uh, you have to be like a kitten and and god is the cat you know and then what the cat does he wants to move the baby kitten he picks it up by the back of the head and carries it over the kitten is <laughs> And he doesn't make a choice, like, I want to go over there. No, he just wants to, huh? And the cat goes over and puts him right there and he stops him. <laughs> and that's one kind of surrender. Another time, you see, another time, it is like uh, you're like a, a monkey, baby monkey. 
The baby monkey is different. All it has to do, the, the mother will not pick him up like this. He must hang on to mom. And mom will jump through the trees. <laughs> just hold on. Sometimes your surrender has to be just you hold on. Boing. And then after, then you come down like that. The baby monkey. Sometimes you are like a baby kangaroo. You are sitting inside the pouch. Boing, boing. And then you get, and then you put down. It's a different uh, thing. Sometimes, uh, like a baby chick, for the bird, baby bird, you come here. Mother brings food all the time. Then one day, you come out a little bit, look over, and she kicks you out. <laughs> ah, ah, and you go. And sometimes, all of these different attitudes you will experience in this journey. Another time, you are just left alone and nobody to make decision for you. And you have to be absolutely alone. There is no map. There is no bus. There is no GPS. And the sun is coming up and there is no shelter. And you have to experience this moment too. Sometimes all these things we experience. It is really a coaching to, to drop our arrogance, you see. The arrogance, yeah, I, I don't need any help, I can do it for me. To have freedom on your own terms. For me. I feel so grateful of being here that I also feel compelled to to discover the truth. Mm. You know. <laughs> what is helpful here is nobody will accept your lie. That is enough compulsion for true, because if you want to shelter what is untrue, nobody is going to help you. Everyone will only encourage you, why you waste time with this? If you want to find the beauty within your own self, why waste time with these things? They're not going anywhere. No, but I don't lie consciously. Hmm? Why? Why are you saying this? It's not that know. I found myself lying to the people, it's just uh, something feels uncomfortable, like weird. No, I, I, I do an effort to. Don't reach. take it too personal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Muchas gracias, Mushi. Thank you very much. You have to be with me in this trip if I leave for yeah. these two weeks. Very, very much. Okay. Where are you going? Where to go? <laughs> Estonia, Lithuania, Finland. Uh, it's a it's a art uh, trip, and I, I told them that I was here, but they told me I was already advertised, and today's in which I was. Uh, you want to go there? Performing. <sighs> you want to go on an art trip, or? Uh, a heart trip. No, I want to be in a heart trip. Uh? I want to be in a heart trip. Heart. Heart. Uh. But I, I don't feel uh, good by not going. I see. Okay. If it is your duty to go, you go. We'll see. We'll see because the tickets are not, uh, you know, it's not flowing, but. Uh, Okay. We'll see. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam. I love you. Mucho, love mucho. You. Mucho, mucho. It has been a while 
since we talked. Yes. And I could say a lot about how layers of the mind dropped and subtler and subtler layers of I revealed. And mm -hmm. But what I really want to say is for a while it has been like this, the unchanging and the abiding and it was deepening but there was still an eye sometimes very subtle, sometimes coming out and playing mm, okay. and it, at that time it didn't feel true Did it cause trouble to you when it does that? Just for a short time During that time, I couldn't say that I am that. It, it didn't feel true. That you are that, meaning consciousness? Yes, the unchanging. Mm -hmm. But if you know, and you have discovered the unchanging, and know that it is the unchanging, appearing as the changing, the changing won't trouble you. It changed <laughs> now. It was now I know what I am. when you really know what you are. You may not even say that. There is no need for you to say that. Just in the same way you don't say, as you meet people and you move about, I am a woman, I am a man, I am a woman, I am a human being, I breathe. You don't say what is the most natural thing for you, you don't say. You just are that. And what you are is more natural than being a woman or being a man or being a Christian or a Buddhist or a Muslim. It is before any of that. It belongs to no categories. It has no date of birth or ruling planets. It is without opinion. It is silence, but it is not being silent. It is unmoving, but it is not being still. That is yourself before your birth, even. That is yourself before knowledge and ignorance come. That is yourself while the sense of knowledge and ignorance prevail. That is yourself when all things come to an end. It does not compete. It does not even evolve. It does not succeed, nor can it fail. That is the absolute truth. 
But in its expression as life, it manifests all this diversity without losing its unity, its harmony. It remains one. Nothing can alter its perfectness. That is you. Like this you must know yourself. Here you find the best guidance, the best clue, the best assistance. What do you have to do but to recognise and keep falling in love with it, until there is no two, until there is not even one? And the rest is all nature's play, which is nothing other than the self playing. To such an awakening, every human being is invited. If this is your season, not only to flower, but to bear fruit. And every season is your season. Because you are the tree of life. You are not an apple tree, you are not a pear tree. Hmm? You are the tree of life. And your fruit keeps getting sweeter and sweeter, but it never becomes oversweet. Not oversweet, it doesn't decay. It's such a realization belongs to you. Such an awakening only you can have. In the silence of your being, this takes place. Who taught you that you are imperishable? From inside your own being it will come. From the Satguru within your own self it will come. No teacher can teach you this. It can only be revealed. Something in you hmm, caused these words to be spoken. Namaste. Um, during this time that I was sitting, uh, I have this question. It's coming from my mind, uh, which I wish to ask 
But then during this time, there was another question that coming from my heart, which I also wish to ask. And they are totally different and maybe, maybe not. Uh, for the question that's coming from my mind uh, would be that you were talking about this looking out of the week window with so many distractions and not asking the one question or the few questions that need to be asked. And I'm a mother of four very young children now and I found myself always looking out of the window because so many distractions are all the time. And with that, I know that I'm sometimes using that as my excuse to do the only thing that needs to be done later when they grow up. Uh, I also know that, I know maybe because I hurt or maybe because I feel that children, which I separate them from, from if I had a very big job that I want to do, but I know that children, they can connect you to these things, and I didn't find the route between how I can use the opportunity as a mother to communicate with myself and maybe to learn from them how to do that. And I wish your guidance uh, with that. And uh, as for the question that's coming from the heart, is that I come from the outside um, to this beautiful place mm -hmm. and I see people that they are coming to you and they're very excited or very connected and I'm asking myself why are you not overwhelmed like that? Why are you not excited like that? Is that the ego? Are you trying to be separate? Yes, you don't have to worry about that. You are not required to be anyway. They are not required. We don't have any requirements of people that you should be like this. We have some things that we recommend, you know, in terms of just how we move and, you know, like these type of things, no. But we don't ask you how your feelings should be. So we leave you completely free, so that you can really pay attention to what the most important things. I don't want to put things in your mind which is not important. This is the most important thing we try to share, just about yourself and uh, you know what is not yourself, and and how you can know that the things you are observing are not really the essential. They're not essential. They're not so important if you are searching for find the truth. And little by little bit, it's coming in because I already trust that whatever brought you here is the right thing that brought you. You see. And I'm aware that there are some things that behave as though they are distractions. Actually, nothing in themselves is a distraction. It's more that you get distracted. You see? Because if something had the power to distract, then it would distract everybody and anybody. But we are distracted by some things and not other things. So there's no power in the thing themselves. It is more to do with what meaning you give to them. To that extent, they will have some influence in your way of experiencing. You see, and you speak about somehow learning from your children, but also they have to learn from you too. We cannot just look only to them because there's an innocence in them. I don't know how old your children are, but there's an innocence in in them, and they are very open. You know, they're very very open to start with, but we can spoil that. Also, it's very open, very important that they they have uh, right guidance and they have some boundaries and things like this. So they, because they need that, they appreciate it. They grow much more beautifully with that. They don't really, um, you see. So those are just the things we don't. And also sometimes, it is not difficult. It is quite enjoyable sometimes for children to teach them how to meditate. Something very simple. If you say to a child, you know, darling, just come and sit here, and uh, just try. Let's try this little game or something. Just throw out all your thoughts. Just leave everything. Don't become really empty. Don't speak too long because they won't have such long attention spans. Just say, just be empty. Just empty out like your piggy bank. You empty completely out. Empty everything out. 
and just sit like this. And don't let anything else come in. And let's just sit like this. And pay attention to how you feel. But don't pay too much attention. If some thoughts come and you want to go, don't go. Just stay here. Like this. And they love it. They are natural meditators, actually. From a certain age, if you catch them. You see? But you don't force. Just when they want, you do a little bit. Even five minutes, even three minutes, they start to have a feel, because it's, it's so inside. No? And you don't stop them from playing. Let them play. But let them meditate. Then let them choose. Let their spirit choose what they would like to do. Sometimes they will come to recognise, when it is time to sit quietly, they will come and ask you, Mom, can I sit alone for a bit? I am sure you can come sit. And I sit there. And they will probably sit for more than five minutes, maybe only for two minutes. But that is still very important. No? You see? Then it is time to play, play. Let them be free. But little guidance and little boundaries and you know, little guidance that's very, very helpful. And then you will see that they start then you start to learn from them. Because you've given them the kind of tools to liberate their spirit in a really good way. Mm-hmm. And then you see the best of childhood. <coughs> because they are, they will you just you yourself will start to just just be it's like a kind of osmosis where you're just absorbing without using your mind too much. Because that's a higher state of communication, when in silence somehow you just experience each other's vibration. That is very very sweet. You know, your home become quiet, nice. <laughs> but you have the opportunity now. That you discover satsang. Just come and listen, and you know, listen to YouTube's also. Try and see the point that I'm making. It's always only about you. It should be your most favorite subject to learn about not your personality only, but your inmost be to be become inside your inmost. The inmost the room inside the room itself, the inmost ways. And feel the silence that's just there. You don't produce it, you don't create it, you don't imagine it. You discover it. You know? And from this <coughs> tiny space even, it will generate so much energy, good energy. Bright energy, loving energy, just so beautiful, you see. Mm. It's just this. It's just this. You see, the people are happy again. Like, why are you so happy? I don't know. We don't know why we. We don't have to know why we are happy. These cultures, our cultures in the West, always want to know why are you happy. Why, why, why? You know, we feel we have to. You know, why do you like red? Well, because it's a primary color. Nonsense! It's not true. You don't know why. God make you like red. But we don't feel comfortable to say that. Find and be yourself. Living here in uh, living here. Traveling yeah. in Portugal for three months with the family. Oh, okay. I live in Israel. In Israel. Oh. Okay. I think one time I come. I hope so. Yeah. You'll be happy. There's a few of them here. Yes. I captured a few of them. Yeah, all over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Start let me hear what you say.
Hello, Muji. Hi. Hello. Um, feel a bit nervous. <laughs> I came from um, London oh, yeah. on Wednesday, yeah. Uh. And I felt very much that um, very unhappy with my, like, just how my life was, really. Yes. Um, and I felt very drawn to coming here. Um, but I feel very unsure with where I should go or what path I should take in my life, really. Yeah. And when I've been here, um, a lot of fear has come up yes. inside me with the thoughts of going back to London and things. But I'm able to observe, observe the thoughts sometimes. But sometimes I get dragged along with these thoughts and these worries and it causes a lot of um, just chaos, I guess, yeah. But I feel like I'm not in tune with what I should give to the world or... Sometimes it is important to feel out of tune. At least you've been there and done it. Hmm? You'll know what it's like to be, whoa, I feel kind of, you know, unplaced or displaced. I don't belong anywhere. Where's my thing? Where, is, where am I supposed to be? It need not go on for very long, but it's good to taste a little bit of that. Then you might know, I don't want to go back to that place. No? But at least you have uh, tasted it. You see? Because a lot of people are afraid to to be in to find themselves in that place where they feel a bit placeless and being afraid they put a lot of energy to avoid being there but sometimes when you're there and you say okay fine i'm here now but it's not so bad i want to be even more displaced let me see let me feel the full effect of being displaced now come on displacement really <laughs> displace me okay so you know just I don't belong anywhere. Just imagine if the whole world with one single voice look at you and says, We don't want you. <laughs> so okay, but I'm here. I'm here. Who put me here? Why am I here? And then you say to yourself, It's still not enough. Come on, come on. We'll displace because there is something here from which I cannot separate. I cannot separate. From everything else, maybe, I will be, feel separate. Even from your parents, even from your brothers and sisters, even from your country, even from your best friend. All these things may be taken from you. But there is something that cannot be taken from you. It is good to find this thing. Okay? Everything else is uncertain. Everything is kind of like unsure. You see, every relationship may be failed, everything, but there's something here that just can't go away. This is more you than your polar star. If you find your north star, yes, okay, everything is moving. But that is not moving, okay? But that is here. You are your North Star. If you get very comfortable with it, then you will not feel lost anymore. And everything that happens, you know, it's not that you will be cynical about life and you don't care about anything. No. It's just that you won't mind, because you know, I'm here. 
You don't want to be here. But if you're here, meaning that you're always where you are, you're just here. But don't be here just personally, because a person cannot be anywhere for very long. The person is a nomad, he's restless. He wants to go over there, he always wants over there. But wherever he goes, he always finds, I'm here. <laughs> so that is already something good. And it makes a space inside you ready hmm, to welcome your life in its expression. Because everything is only for a time. Everything is only for a time. You see, some for a short time, some for a longer time, but everything is passing. If you know these things, they have really put you in a very good place because you won't mind. You say, well, you know, it's not mine to keep, you know. It's gonna come, have it for a bit, it's gone, a little pain, but it's okay. And things take off. <laughs> Accept everything that happened to you as a gift. Then you will perceive the things in the right way, with the right mindset. Not even a mindset, I don't want to call it mindset or set mind, I don't know. Just in the right way. You were going to say something else, no? Would I be able to give you a hug? Oh, yes. <laughs> Why should I miss out? Come on. <laughs> uh, I saw you the other day, no? Briefly, you're at uh, Marvelous. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Your name is what? Jordan. Jordan. Nice to meet you, Jordan. I see you again soon. See you too. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. It looks like ah, you come. No? Hello, darling. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, happy to be here. Yeah. Good, good, good. Thank you so much. Ah, thank you. Uh, I just uh, want to say to you, I want to put all at your feet, all person, all fears and attachments. I put it now down yeah. at your feet. Yes. And just stay as yeah. the pure being. I just um, want to ask for your help. Yeah. Really do it. Really do it. Don't just say, I want to do it. Do it then. Complete your word. I want to lay everything right here down. Leave it right here. And I'm going to tell you, you can only do that if you don't pick it up again. Put them down there. Sometimes you put them down, they jump back on. Yes, back I know like, that. Like monkey, okay? But uh, you say, okay, listen. <laughs> no, no, no. You see? So much so that if you imagine that 10 people come to hug you, but I tell you, you don't hug anybody. Yes, but they're coming to hug me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They come to hug you, but you don't hug anybody. Just be surrendered. And they come and everybody wrap their arm around you like a big octopus. But you are just like this, you are surrendered, you are not hugging anyone. So when you put everything down, if he jumps back up, it doesn't matter. I am not picking him up, I am not carrying him. Huh? I am going to be alone now. When I put everything down, it means that you are alone. But not lonely, no? just you are alone. It is funny, that when you are truly alone, you are not just alone as a person, it is like you become alone as everything. But you must find it out yourself. Start with putting them down. You say, I want to do it. I want to has a kind of futuristic feeling about it. 
I choose to. That's kind of nowish. No? I'll drop it now. I'll sleep. Whatever it is, you know, I'm I'm changing my habit. I'm just going to leave them right here. Okay. And if I'm not here next to you, Muji, and I'm in some other place, I will post them to you. Okay. <laughs> and then you put them right on your feet. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of any concept. They can come. You know. You can look at them. Just don't combine yourself with anything. And you see, you don't lose anything if you are perceiving life with that state from that state of neutrality. Hmm? Sometimes the mind jumps in and says, Yeah, but I mean, I don't want to be boring and just look at life. Like I want to be involved in all of that. There is an involvement which still leaves you pure. Hmm? It is like doing your your natural dharma, your natural duty. It's not trying to be involved. Just out of your own intelligence, from your own wisdom, you will meet life in the appropriate way. More and more you become better at it, actually. Too. Why? Because you don't want anything. But if you put something down and you want something else, you're going to what you're going to do? Is say, I put everything down, but the thing I really want to keep. No. You say, no, what it means put things down. It doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. You enjoy it. Your life is joy. It can be joy. Even if painful things come, they have a place that the painful thing come. But they come inside your greater joy, actually. You come to find out. It's not joy has to move out of the way because sadness has come. No, let, let sadness come inside your joy also. But you don't try to be joy. Don't try look, you know, sadness coming. You know, no, no, I'm trying to be joy. No. So is that what you mean? I like to leave everything at your feet? Like I really just put it here. I don't own any more. I don't own any concepts. Yet. Like this, no? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you know. Excuse me, Miss. You dropped a concept here. What this one? No, no don't know it about it. But it's got your name on it. I don't know the guy. Sorry. Or I threw it away. Why you picked it up for? Now it's your concept. Leave me alone. <laughs> but you're not going like the three monkeys. I don't want to speak. Don't know. Your senses are completely open. This is natural. You're moving life in your natural way. You're not trying to hide away and looking out at life from underneath the bed or something. No, you are fully present, but uh, you are not. Uh, you're not into real estate as far as concepts are going. You're not. You are free. That is this. I would like to hear from you again in a short while. Okay. How, how? Where are you living? I'm with my daughter. Is another my. Ah. For two, three weeks in this area now. Gotcha. Very good. So I will see you more, no? Yes. And then please check in with me and let me hear. <laughs> really try, because when I speak with you like this, you know, I it is not just for entertainment, amusement. Beautiful things come out of these things. And when we talk and you speak from your heart, I speak from my heart with you, and you take it to heart and you say, Wait, I'll give it a try. Beautiful things come out. Because why? Beauty is in there, and the source of beauty is there, not out here only. The source of beauty is here. Hmm? Today I heard. Yesterday I heard that uh, Muhammad Ali dropped the body. He passed away. Huh? Okay, and then today I looked it up. Or was it yesterday I looked it up to see anything about? Because we are here, we don't know anything what's happening in other parts, no. Heating Madronia. We don't know anything. And now and again we look into what is happening in the world. So I heard Muhammad Ali, so I look it up. And one of the things that I saw is there was a tribute to Muhammad Ali from George Foreman. And George Foreman was one of the great boxing opponents, you know, of Muhammad Ali. And he was a really, really you know. He is a really tough guy, even though he's a big man. 
a really mighty boxer. You know, you don't want him to hit you. Even if you're a boxer, you don't want him to hit you. Not even by accident. You know, I mean, he's <laughs> massive, you know, but a beautiful human being. And he said something. He spoke about Muhammad Ali so beautifully. I was filled with tears. He would say, just in a few minutes, he's talking. He was being interviewed. You know, and what he had to say about uh, this Muhammad Ali. You no, know, was so beautiful. He said, look, I. If you limit Muhammad Ali and call him a boxer, that for me is an insult. He's much more than that. He's one of the greatest human beings. He was saying like this, you know. He said, if you came and you interview him, and you interview him and you as a journalist, you will leave him as a better journalist. If you are a doctor, you will leave as a better doctor. If you were. Uh, uh, Whatever you are, you are going to leave as a better person like this. He says, but you know, there was a famous fight called Rumble in the Jungle, where he had to fight Muhammad Ali in one country, I don't know if it was Zahir or something, and uh, Muhammad Ali beat him, you see. And he says, I still feel proud that I was in the ring, one of the greatest human beings I know, like that. He's speaking like this? No? Then I said, Look at this. At the end of it, I said, It's beautiful to hear this about Muhammad Ali, but it's even more beautiful to listen to George Foreman. He is beautiful. He is beautiful. Because he had the space in him to appreciate and to see the best in someone else. It's funny how these things hide themselves. It was said that Socrates was one of the wisest men on earth. But who appreciated Socrates enough to say that? He must be at least as wise, isn't it? To say he's wise, he must be wise enough to see that he's wise. But he doesn't mention who he is. Hmm? Then it became well known. In your recognizing greatness, it's coming from your greatness. When you see love and truthfulness, is because it comes out of your love and your truthfulness. When you say someone is open, is because you are open, or at least you're open enough to appreciate their openness. Hmm? So you leave everything. It doesn't mean that you must sit on your hands and don't do anything. No, you do what you have to do in your life. Only don't say, This is what I am. Use your mind, use your intelligence, but don't define or describe yourself. Because to define is to confine. You stay empty. The one who is truly empty doesn't mind if people say, "Ah, you are nothing." He knows it's true. I am nothing. I'm nothing at all. Hmm? So he will not see it as any as any kind of insult. You are you are nothing. Thank you very much. You say to ignorant man, "You are nothing." Who you are calling nothing? Who you are calling nothing? You want a few of these? You see. You stay as this emptiness, and you find that you can move in the world of something that's quite fine. Nothing will trouble you, because you say something like this: "I want to take you at your word." You see, otherwise it's just little sweet talk. I want to leave everything. Yeah, okay, do. You say you want to do it. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, okay, on Tuesday. No, 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 no. You want to do it? Do it now. Muji, I want to tell you something really important, but I'll talk to you maybe tomorrow. No, I can't bear it. Talk to me now. Maybe I'm a lot too much, too childish or something. You can't tell a child something. We'll have ice cream tomorrow. 
And that is just, <laughs> that is torture. Why do you say? You say, no, let's have some ice cream now. Come on, let's grab some. Why do you say, oh, we're going to have some ice cream on Tuesday. <laughs> what? What's today? Sunday. Oh! It's a horrible thing. Hmm? Life is now. You are now. Hmm? Children only know now. Adults know Tuesday and Wednesday because largely we are stupid, basically. <laughs> you think you know Tuesday, you don't know anything at all. So, we are good? We are good, thank you. Should we have a song today? And we hmm. will have the song, and then maybe we will take a break for some. Hmm. You're welcome to come and have some chai. I think it was made like this, and then uh, I usually. Take some time to read through some of the letters that come. That I don't get a chance to look at them. Some were also from Zimar, and uh, we come back in about twenty minutes, twenty minutes or so. And those of you who would like to be here, you are very welcome to be here. And um, and if you have to leave, then have a beautiful journey where you are going. Bless you and thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, one two. Um, basically, um, I think I wanted to speak to you about my um, stay here because you invited me to come here and I, I wasn't really prepared. Or I don't have free really any money and. Um, um, I found myself in a situation where I don't really know anything, <laughs> and it just it comes to my mind, oh, what to do next? What to do next? But I'm just like, it it feels like a burden like to even bur think about tomorrow. Like a burden or a burning? Burden. A burden. Okay. To think about tomorrow, yeah. you know, five minutes. Yeah. It's a burden. <clears throat> I will talk with you about that after. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Pure vodka, you see.
Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Would 
Muji ji you show me the way Muji ji you show me the way Now I can see Now I can see You open your arms and you satisfy Hunger of all And I open my eyes and I can't believe what I see So much beauty all around So much beauty all around Remember, remember This life is just a dream Projected upon the screen of consciousness of consciousness, of consciousness
I love you, thank you, thank Thank 
see you in a minute then, okay? Mm -hmm.